Finally tonight here, a little more than 24 hours from now, we'll all be preparing for the big countdown and what a year it was. Tonight here, our journey with all of you, from Boston Strong to the strongest little superhero we could find. It was a beautiful and proud day in Boston when the first one hit. Then the second one. Two homemade bombs ripping through the crowds at the finish line of the Boston Marathon. Everybody started running, panicking, and another bomb went off. Killing three and wounding nearly 300. Make no mistake, we will get to the bottom of this. 26-year-old Tamerlan Sarnayev and his younger brother, 19-year-old Zhokar Sarnayev. An MIT police officer shot and killed. The older brother, Tamerlan, killed two. A Boston suburb on lockdown. Police move in. They were saying, you gotta. Boston pride, Boston strong. America would soon turn to another city, Cleveland. The nation hearing the 911 call 10 years in the making. Call me, I'm Amanda Berry. I've been kidnapped and I've been missing for 10 years. Amanda Berry disappearing at 16, making that brave call at 27 years old. Three women trapped inside, all held captive by Ariel Castro. Castro fathering a baby with Amanda. This is the moment that this community has been waiting for for 10 years. We were there the day Amanda Berry came home with her six-year-old daughter. And Gina DeJesus flashing a thumbs up. Those young women survivors. There has been some kind of crash at San Francisco International Airport. Incredibly, more than 300 people survived this. An Asiana 777 crashing. A pilot training on that aircraft, landing far too short. The back of the jet breaking off. Over my shoulder here, you can see the burned out fuselage. And in a cruel twist of fate, one teenager survived the crash, only to be run over, not by one, but by two first responder trucks. For the survivors in Moore, Oklahoma, tearful reunions. Direct hit, twister outbreak. Two elementary schools wiped out. And one of the teachers following her own instincts, rushing her students into the bathroom. It's almost over. It's almost over. That brave teacher, Mrs. Deedzik, bringing us back to that school. Oh my God. And on that day, she'll never forget, in all of the madness, suddenly finding her own son looking up at her. Sam, honey, it's okay. There were prayers around the world this year from Catholics waiting to meet their new hope. We are looking at the smoke billowing out of the cast iron chimney above the Sistine Chapel. Jorge Bergoglio, taking the name Francis, inspired by St. Francis of Assisi, known for his compassion for the poor. He even let this little boy, a stranger, steal the spotlight on stage and then his chair. At summer's end, Americans suddenly learned we were on the brink of war. Did the Syrian government use chemical weapons against its own people? There was worldwide shock when these images were revealed, the children gasping for air. The United States should take military action. Warships at the ready. Russia stepping in, negotiating a deal with Syria to give up its chemical weapons. Two million Syrian refugees. We met so many of the children waiting to go home. You're thinking about your father? It's okay, sweetie. A sudden breakthrough elsewhere. Iran electing a new president who would travel to America to speak before the UN and speak on the phone with President Obama. History was made today, Diane. Beginning to curb Tehran's nuclear program, easing those crippling sanctions we witnessed firsthand in Tehran. Day to day increasing prices. You see it day to day. Yes. I believe we must test it. And one other victory this year for a different kind of superpower. In San Francisco, that Cape Crusader who gave that thumbs up. Little Miles, diagnosed with leukemia, granted a wish by Make-A-Wish. He wanted to be Bat-Kid for a day. His dad remembers the knock at the door. Batman knocked on our hotel door holding a costume and told Miles, you gotta go to work. The choppers overhead watching Bat-Kid save the day. The whole city in on it. And from the mayor, thank you, Bat-Kid. Bat-Kid suddenly realizing his power, watch this. <laughs> That same trademark confidence he showed us. A superhero just when we needed one. He saved the day and left us all smiling. Our look back tonight at 2013.